Good morning, friends. Welcome to another fun-filled, action-packed day in the Philippines. And the fine day it is. It's kind of slightly cloudy. I'm going to guess it's maybe 72-ish. Got a decent little breeze going. Uh, this is update, I believe, number six. Long awaited. But as I mentioned in the past, I'm building this out of the cash flow from my Social Security. So when I spend what I've got that I can afford to do an improvements this month, then I'm done. And right now, the things have sort of been done and they sort of rolled, but we finally got finished. And so I'm doing an update. So we're gonna start in the kitchen, work our way out and back into the kitchen. So let's do it. Here we are in the kitchen where the electrician is adding an outlet for the range hood. The cabinets are here getting their final touches before they'll be installed. First, the range hood will have to be installed into the cabinet. And here it is being anchored to the wall. French doors, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the French doors going in as well as the countertops. The design on the French doors is try to somewhat match the windows. So it's a stay in the same motif kind of thing. And so this is what I came up with. So they're getting ready to cut the window out and then the concrete and then they will install the door. I get lots of comments and questions about why didn't I just buy it? Well, a couple of reasons. One is it's not for sale. Number two, unless you're a Filipino citizen, you cannot own land here. Now, this is about an hour later and the wall is starting to come out, uh, getting there, getting ready to take out the actual window itself and install the doors. Also out here, uh, one little improvement had to be made. We had the electrical into the bar. It works. We have the light up there for the evening. And let's take a look at some of the plumbing that's done here. That blue one there, that is for the uh, water coming in. The orange one is for water going out. Now I've uh, got run pipes out so far, tested it out, it works great. And over here, that is where the uh, separate tank is. So the water running from the bar will go there. Over here uh, is where the sink is and the water will come down and come out through here and also go into the septic tank. Now, one little improvement has occurred to me, and I haven't got my, which is kind of over the top, but it occurred to me it's not that expensive. So as I'm describing it, keep in mind, it's under a hundred bucks, under $100, okay? I talked about bringing the sidewalk out about here and kind of where this green patch of grass is, something in here, I'm thinking about digging a koi pond. Um, I just have to do a little more research to make sure the koi is going to be work good here. Anyway, and then when I get the sidewalk to here, I'll have a bridge, maybe a bamboo type thing coming over the top of it. And come around over to here where there'll be a doorway. And the doorway will come around uh, to the bathroom. Here's Rocky. He's uh, cutting out the sink hole into the granite. And they're going to be putting the granite over there either side of the uh, oven and uh, finishing it in here in the corners. Okay, you can see the hole cut in there for the French doors. Looks better already. Uh, there we can see my sink is in. I like it. And the doors are in, just being patched with concrete where it was chipped out. This is about five days later. First, I had to go on with the gray epoxy primer. That needed to dry. And then we did the black paint, which had to dry. And now Fred is putting in the windows. He's also the guy that does the cabinets. I just thought there's these little bamboos. They're about two inches around. Straight, 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 straight. You know, and I'm thinking about just doing an entire thing of those side by side by side by side by side by side like every and just doing a wall it'll look like a bamboo wall from the inside then somebody was afraid that my hammocks would pull the wall over well these posts go down into the ground and I'm gonna be drilling into the post they're not nine feet apart something like that so I don't think that's gonna happen 
Anyway, um, so I'm thinking about doing that. It'll run all the way along uh, the wall, all the way around, which is um, about 190 feet around. Now they come in bundles of them, so they're probably not real expensive. My other thought is to get like every nine feet or so to have one of these bigger ones in there. And at the top, I would have a light. So there would be tall bamboo going all the way around. I've never seen it anywhere. I've never seen it anywhere, never heard of it. I just thought it would be kind of a cool idea. And you know, I, I like unique. So uh, I'm gonna give it a shot, at least here where the, um, where the bamboo would be. My only second thought in that is if it would slow the wind down or if that would be kind of a problem because you can see the leaves right now it's it's probably one o'clock 1 30 and maybe um i don't know 80 some degrees uh it's, it's really comfortable maybe even high 70s uh humidity absolutely not a factor at all uh, it feels comfortable so here is a look at the kitchen how about that? How about that? I'm telling you, I like it. There the sink is in. I just have to finish the plumbing. So the sink is there. I'm going to finish the window. The cabinet's in. Everything's working over here. The oven has a little thing here where um, you could put two chickens in there or whatever, and it's a rotisserie. Kind of like that option. It also has another big thing that goes here, and that's for like a big bowl or a big pot. That's what you're doing. Now there's going to be tile going in over here and it's going to go all the way to the wall. So that wall here, refrigerator will go here, the water dispenser with hot and cold. Same colored tile, it's going to come in here and cover all of this. It'll come down about to about eight inches. It'll go up and I'll have like three glass blocks across four going up total of 12. So when you're here, you can see the light. The windows will not be clear. It'll be uh, kind of that blurry color of that blurry, that blurry uh, glass block look. And then these doors, all the way along, eight here, one there, one there, and then the end cover. All of that will run uh, about 145 bucks. The glass blocks will be 30 bucks and the labor is going to be uh, glass blocks will be 27. The labor will be $30 and then probably $30 for the plumbing to go out and be connected and the bar being built. I am not sure yet. I really don't know, but I think we're well on the way here and I absolutely I just really love these doors. I just really, really love it. I think it turned out good. It goes with the other windows that I'm not able to change. So, I mean, I'm pleased. I'm really pleased. Next will be the bathroom. Um, and I'm not sure what to do here. I don't like the tile. Uh, I have no concept in the cost, so I don't want to say I'm going to redo all the tile. But I found some um, glass doors and they go on rails like a barn door kind of thing. They don't run on wheels at the bottom. This one's broken. It's rotten. It's, it, it's, it cannot be repaired. But I found the other one. The actual, um, the actual metal is not that expensive. It's, the glass is going to be more expensive. I would say the glass is kind of a, a 3 8 inch with, you know, beveled all around and it kind of hangs. So, uh, and then the tile, I've been told it's a, I think it's a four day job. Uh, a four day job with a helper doing all of this. Um, you're talking $110, labor, $110 for labor. And then the cost of the tiles, which brings me to the floor in here. I knew there was one other thing. 
I'm not really excited about the floor, okay? And, and really, it starts in the other room where the tiles are chipped up. I can't replace those tiles. I can't match the tiles. If I, I my original, I thought was to grind them out and just put new tiles in there. Can't do it. Anyway, over here, the bid, oh, the, the cost for all of the tile up there, $130, including labor. Down here, $130, including labor. So, you know, 260 for everything in here. I mean, um, I'm getting pretty close to being done. Under $500, this is gonna be a smoking hot. Tiles there, new tiles here, doors in front, all that hooked up, glass windows in, and a light fixture for the top. And I'm all done in here. And then out here, uh, another $130 for tile and labor. And then this room, I'm gonna do some curtains, clean up these windows somehow, and uh, maybe do a little light fixture up there. I've got it marked here, where that black mark is, I'll have that, there's gonna be wood going up and down and then over there. Uh, probably a 65 inch TV, speakers and so on. And then the wood will be coming here with mirrors coming up and down. And then uh, mirrors there. I'm not sure about over there. Maybe maybe on this wall will be wallpaper uh, and curtains and so on. And over there, probably just paint. Anyway, that's the latest with here.